The first down ends it. But this one is close. The runner's elbow was down and the ball was short of the 19 wow. yard line. The runner's elbow was down and the ball was short of the 19 wow. yard line. And that was just one of two plays that screwed the Cleveland Browns. Now, I don't know what glaucoma ridden, muscular degenerating eyeballs borrowed from a corpse these NFL referees were using to not see that that was a first down. Maybe the same eyes Brown's management used to draft Johnny Manziel and pass on Carson Wentz. What conclusive evidence are they using to reverse the call on the field that was originally a first down? Who looked at this play and said, yep, move the ball back, no first down? Was it the farmer from the birds? Look, Raiders fans, before you leave, I'm gonna unite you and Cleveland against the referees because officiating was terrible across the board. But the ridiculousness of this first down being reversed is d ridiculous. I mean, just listen to Al Michaels in the Steelers-Ravens game talk about how hard these challenges are to win. I mean, these are so tough. You can challenge, but how do you win when it's six inches? That was, a, that was a good shot right there. He wasn't going to win a challenge here. Very difficult, obviously, to win. You, got, you need to find a landmark. You got to see when he was down, where the, exactly the ball was. Well, Al Michaels, they're pretty easy to win if you want to fuck over the Browns. I am Brandon Perna. This is That's Good Sports, and I'll show you how the refs screwed the Browns and the Raiders a little bit in this game. The only real losers uh, were the referees. That's good sports. Please, if you're new here, subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's all I have. All other NFL anchors, they're playing chess. And I'm, I'm playing fucking marbles. So a subscription and a click of the notification button really helps. Now I'm sorry, Cleveland. Uh, not just for the bad calls, but that you haven't had a QB get a win in his first start since you became a team again in 1999. The spot reversal wasn't the only call that felt like you had birds pecking out vacant bloody holes where your beautiful brown's eyes used to reside. Even if you had the vision of, say, Corporal Mitchell from 28 days later, you would have seen that this play was a fumble. A bloody fumble rule, not a fumble because the refs blew the whistle too fucking early. This isn't a roughing the passer penalty, uh, but the NFL's desire to overprotect the quarterback just cost the Browns a win. Just like it cost the Packers a win, and just like it's allowing Tom Brady to play longer than any of us can stand. The ref clearly didn't see the ball pop loose, but this play is the biggest bunch of bullshit I've seen well, since last week in the NFL. Fight, and that is a fumble, man. That, they, how is his progress stopped there? The ball came out as soon as he got hit. I know they're trying to get protect these quarterbacks and get a quick whistle. That is a fumble. This should have been a touchdown for Cleveland. That fumble was in the fourth quarter with six and a half minutes left when the Browns were up by one point, and that play would have probably resulted in a defensive touchdown. Now, in fairness to the Raiders, Marshawn Lynch had a giant run called back because the refs blew his play dead too early as well. There's Lynch. Marshawn Lynch finally wrapped up by a oh, quick whistle. Bill Schobert. Marshawn not happy about it. What do you teenage boys and NFL referees have in common? They blow too early when things get exciting. You never assume Marshawn Lynch has stopped running. What is the one thing we all know about Marshawn Lynch? Run through a motherfucker's face. How is he supposed to run through a motherfucker's face if you blow the whistle prematurely? You just run through somebody's face over and over and over and over and over again. NFL ref, September 30th, 2018, the day they ended Marshawn Lynch's ability to run through a motherfucker face. Well, he did have this run in overtime that set up the game-winning field goal, so uh, he's still pretty good, I guess. In more fairness to the Raiders, the Browns did benefit from uh, maybe the worst roughing the passer call of the 2018 season. This. This right here is called roughing the passer. Roughing the passer is this. I'd pretend to be outraged, but the NFL has broken my spirit. This may have been the worst officiated game of 2018. Do you know how difficult that is to achieve this year? That's like being labeled the kinkiest member at an orgy. An honor only my grandfather was able to achieve. 
I'll live up to your legacy one day, papa. One day, I will live up to your legacy, papa. So now that you're competitive again, Cleveland, you get to remember what it feels like to have NFL referees rip out your heart, spit on it, and give it to the least deserving team in the league, the Raiders. And that's why it's called the black hole when you play there. I mean, you had Baker Mayfield dropping dimes in the end zone. You had Nick Chubb going full Chubb from six to midnight, galloping 63 yards for the touchdown. 63 is also the average age of the players on John Gruden's team. Uh, Chubb wasn't done. Another impressive touchdown run down the gullet of the Raiders defense. That touchdown run basically made up for the uh, bad non-fumble call by the refs. So the real reason you lost Cleveland was letting Martavis Bryant and then Amari Cooper do this in the fourth quarter, which set up, oh shit, that's right, it set up nothing. You stopped the Raiders. They didn't score. And we're back at the spot overturn. Third and two with a minute 40 left in the game. And Carlos Hyde, 99.9% definitely got you the first down, which would have allowed you to run out the clock. The runner's elbow was down and the ball was short of the 19 wow. yard line. That is a horrible call. That is, there's no getting around how horrible that is. Yeah, his elbow was definitely down, but was the ball short? That's a hard, hard maybe. And by rule, you ain't opposed to reverse a call on a maybe. Sure, Cleveland's defense shouldn't have given up a touchdown in a minute. And sure, they should have stopped the two point conversion. And sure, even after the Raiders missed another field goal in overtime, the Browns should have closed out the game with the score of their own, but they didn't. They lost this on their own. But in my heart, I will blame the referees forever because they were awful and because I hate the Raiders and I wanted the Browns to win. Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Sports. Please subscribe here on YouTube. I'm on Twitter at Brandon Perna, Instagram at Brandon Perna, and a podcast. That's Good Sports Podcast. Goes up every Mondays and Thursdays. iTunes, Podbeans. That's Good Sports Podcast.